Hey guys, Dark and Mystic here, and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you how to get netherite super fast without harming yourself, without killing yourself, and you don't really need materials. I know I have netherite sword and netherite pickaxe, but just with an iron pickaxe, you are really, really fine. And let's get towards this video on how you can find just so you know netherite you're actually going to need to craft it now i don't really know what you need but i do know that one of the things you need is asian debris right and i'm gonna teach you how to get asian debris really fast or technically netherite really quick so you can have these tools and these sword that they just do so much damage just like i do and just so you know it is very easy to get them it's not that hard they sometimes come like in packs and things like that but it's not hard so one of the things you're going to want to do is that you are going to want to dig down to a level in that you are y32 so if you have your coordinates i don't know you can see mine you can see where it says position on the top left corner you can see it says position negative 428 now we're going to be looking at that number in the middle it depends of course i'm playing on bedrock edition if we're going to be checking that number so you see that where it says 26 each time you go down it lowers a number so we're going to try to make sure to go all the way where it starts saying something like they're like 22 right and if you can go lower than that's even better because it has you have more chance but 22 is at least what you need so now i'm going to do this now i'm going to come here and i'm going to place t and t like that and i'm going to put some redstone now i'm going to come here and i'm going to dig something like this and I'm going to make sure I'm kind of far enough because it is TNT and it is going to explode. Now, I know there's some people that use bats, but believe me, I do not recommend using bats. By the fact that when you use bats, technically what you do is that you really don't have time to run. So, I don't recommend using bats. So, what you're going to do is that you're just going to plant that redstone like that and make sure it's connected to the TNT now what you're going to do is that you might want to press it but at the same time you might want to go and just place some blocks in front of you so like this it is going to activate it and we're going to plant ourselves in that is going to explode I think I just heard the explosion and there we go as you can see we just had a huge explosion going on and what you might what you're going to want to do is that you're just gonna make those explosions happen and you're just gonna keep going until you find some netherite for example right here we found it some flint and we didn't found it netherite and there is some lava which i'm pretty sure all my redstone went there so too bad but as you can see it starts opening new areas for you to explore and the only thing that you're you're just going to keep doing that until you start finding again it is super hard but the process is not super easy because that tnt explodes a lot so you know that that just explodes a lot so we are going to do the same thing here we're just going to come here i'm going to apply that we're going to put a lever here and now we're going just to dig some something here to be safe really quickly like that and now we're just going to click that and we are going to hide and now you might hear the explosion sounds and for some reason I'm not he hearing them and of course I probably did not connect that well so let's connect that there and let's just we're the inner we're in our position we're going to explore that we saw that TNT trigger 
and that kind of exploded our way but then explode explodes us out and here's the lever and here is the rest so as you can see it the TNT does explode a big area and I just going to say something really quick if you see lava do not get scared that lava is not going to affect at all for example sometimes when we mine diamonds you know we just lose those diamonds because they go into lava that's not the same thing with netherite if you do that and there's lava and netherite or the Asian debris is usually going to float and that's because Asian debris is is fire resistant or as you could say um it's fire resistant or it you'd say that it's you know it's resistant to lava and fire so so you shouldn't be scared of that so that is the same thing here we're going to plan some things here also make sure that the signal is fine if, so if you're not experienced with redstone you need to make sure that the signal is actually working so do not drive it to like a far place so I think this should be a good place where it's not going to lose I'm going to plant the lever here there might be TNT coming our way but I'm going to go to this hole right here and I should be fine so we heard the explosions and we should be fine now and that is technically the process as you see we're right now nine we're now in a level that we are in bedrock and again it is pretty easy because the only thing that it takes is just your it's just tnt a lever and about two stacks of redstone so you no know, after you're probably done beating the ender dragon you can just come here and you can have that perfect as you see we really haven't found it but you should just keep trying and I'm just going to try this for two more times and if I don't find it we're just going to have to end the video here so yeah it's pretty easy and um, also something about that I wanted to point it really quick if you have kind of been a subscriber you probably have seen the minecraft survival challenges series just so you know there i'm going to give some quick tips about that you have been part of the minecraft survival challenges i just wanted to say that the logo should have said something else i actually had a registered logo that said something like you know minecraft survival challenges and oh look we're just so lucky we found some netherite guys some asian debris just by mining and yeah and also uh, some other thing before i continue so yeah it said invalid it was not supposed to say invalid and it was just supposed to say minecraft survival challenges so so i'm just sorry i'm gonna try to see what the problem was so I'm sorry and talking about netherite we just found some netherite just by mining again you could also mine I do not recommend mining at all but why is this why is this going to be very easy finding nether just so you know the way that this is going to make it really easy is because you're not going to have to you're not going to have to actually go branch mining and waste like a bunch of coal or axes and if you just plant netherite there like and then like just explode it without the redstone and lever you're, it's pretty much that you're going to kill but now that we find it i just want to give a little bit less quick right usually when you find netherite or the asian debris there's probably always going to be a sign that there is going to be more so I'm gonna recommend that if you find some netherite just by luck, just by either, put some redstone there and explode the area so you can get a better clearance of what that is like. So now I'm going to plant that. I am going to get out of here. 
just heard the explosion which is fantastic and I think I just put a block above my head and oh yep like that and yeah I heard a little bit explosion I see some lava and let's see what else so you see guys we're just starting to get a point where we start we even find some gold here but you know up there there's some netherite here so as you see it's been you know it's been a little bit hard but now once you start finding it it's just so easy like it's been I think only like six minutes and we have already found a lot like a lot a lot and it is this is really good right it's a and as you see we haven't even died here so that has been same thing also another thing is if you find netherite it can be good to put it like where it used to be because then that is going to clear out the area something like this and as you can see we're starting to find some more netherite so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe i think i might do more of these tutorials later on and that was just a big mistake and oh my god you you again but yeah um make sure to subscribe to the channel um I just so y'all know I work hard on these videos so probably a hit in the subscribe button will really help me and at the same time might benefit you and I might do these survival I might do the survival challenges and I might also do some minecraft tutorial videos so you won't want to miss those and you might just want to subscribe to learn more about this channel in some great minecraft awesome videos <laughs> So again, thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time. Subscribe.